Because conflict grows just like people grow. Why would we expect World War III to look anything like World War II? It doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. And over the last 30 years in, in US military history, and for sure in world military history, we've already seen the next evolution of conflict. And it looks like proxy and economic warfare. And guess what we're doing right now? Proxy war and economic warfare. Just like you said, all we'll see is an amplification of the current fighting style. Can you elaborate on proxy? I think there's a lot of people that don't understand what that is. Yeah, so proxy wars are wars or proxy conflicts are conflicts where the two primary instigators are actually not physically present at the site of conflict. So if you consider something like Syria, Libya, Yemen, uh, those were all proxy conflicts. The, the Houthis were fighting in Yemen against other Yemenis. In Syria, there was a rebel group going against the Assad regime, right? Libya was split, two factions. But what ended up happening is superpowers or economic powers would fund one side or the other in the fight. So then the only people dying are Libyans. The only people dying are Syrians, right? The only people dying are Yemeni. Now, you and I both know that's, that's an oversimplification. There are American troops, there are foreign troops, there are UN troops that are present, but they're present in the hundreds. They're not present in the hundreds of thousands. Mm -hmm. So the majority of death and carnage is actually localized to the conflict itself. But the economic uh, foundations funding that conflict are two other powers who are vying for control. The same thing is happening right now in Ukraine. The only difference is people think that Russia is the superpower fighting in Ukraine. I would hope that the fighting in Ukraine has shown us all that Russia is not a superpower, but Russia is being funded somehow. Mm -hmm. It's being funded on oil money and oil that's being sold to India and China. India and China are two economic powers. China's the larger of the two. And we all know who's supporting Ukraine, right? The United States through NATO, <laughs> the yeah. United States with a thin veil that it's NATO. I'm not sure how to, how to put it in a more gentle way, yeah. but it's clearly a proxy war in Ukraine. And who's dying? Ukrainians.